Hey guys, so today we're making some fried cabbage. Please make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Let's get started with the recipe. So I have one yellow onion that I am just going to slice up. If you don't like onions, you do not have to put them in there. And then I am using one head of cabbage. And this, listen, this cabbage has seen better days. But here we are. And so I'm just going to cut that in half. And then I am going to remove the core because um, that part is hard. So you do not want to eat that, y'all. So I'm basically just going to cut around that. And then I am going to slice up my cabbage. And so after I sliced my cabbage, I just um, rinsed it off in some water. And then I am just going to put this on a paper towel just to get some of that excess water off of it. Because we do not want it to steam too much once we get it in our skillet. And so I am going to cook some bacon for this recipe um, just because we want to cook our cabbage in some nice flavor. Okay, y'all? And so I just cooked the bacon until it was nice and crispy and I left some of the grease from the bacon in the skillet and then I added in some butter. I did use dairy free butter for this recipe but you can use um, regular butter and then I am just going to season my cabbage y'all. I don't care what seasonings you use just make sure your food is not bland. We don't want no bland food y'all. And so I used some garlic pepper, some adobo seasoning, some onion powder, garlic powder. Um, and I am just going to add in those onions. Um, and you want to make sure that you season every layer of this. And so I did put the cabbage in batches um, just because I wanted to make sure every layer was seasoned. And um, sometimes you have to wait for it to wilt down a little bit so that you can get all of the cabbage in the pan and so i just seasoned the other layer and added in the rest of those onions and added some butter and you don't want to stir this up too much because you want the cabbage to get a nice uh golden brown color um and that's really just that flavor that's on the bottom of this cast iron skillet and if you do have cast iron, I suggest you use that because it just has so much flavor, y'all. And it it cooks better, okay? And so I am adding a little bit of sugar because it will help this to not be so bitter. And then I added in a little bit of garlic. If you have fresh garlic, I suggest using fresh garlic. But I'm just using what I had at the moment. And then I'm just going to let this cook until it is nice and tender you can cook it to whatever consistency you want and that's it y'all this is pretty much done i garnished it with um that cooked bacon that we we made earlier and this is the finished product you can serve it with whatever you want or you can eat it just like this it really doesn't matter and so i hope you guys enjoyed this recipe please make sure you like share comment and subscribe See you next time. Bye.